guys, this is Spartan 117GW. We are here at Revelations at Balhack, and I'm going to go over my kit real quick. As you can see, we are at the test range, so a couple people are going to be shooting, but uh, I have the HK4, uh, HKM27 IAR, which is the Elite Force variation. It's OEM by VFC. Really awesome gun. And as you can see, I'm running a couple different things on my kit. Uh, Revelations essentially is a post-apocalyptic scenario. I uh, kind of had a little bit of a short amount of time to really build a kit, so I basically kind of built like a light, you know, light fighter kind of kit. I'm wearing Vertex Cryptek pants. I have a Solomon um, boots as well. And I'm running the Halo Strategic D3 chest rig. Uh, this is actually really nice. So uh, what I like about it is it kind of gives me a lot of options, a lot of flexibility. Uh, as, and if you've seen my video about it, you'll be able to see that you know, they make it in a couple different colors. Mandrake, Nomad, um, Highlander, as well as Coyote Tan, a couple other colors as well. But what, definitely the flexibility between carrying multi-tools, just a couple extra general purpose pouches. You know, you have M4 mag pouches that actually work with AK as well. And one thing I really like is the stuff it pouch here. You, I, for me, I typically use the Fat Mag or Surefire Mag in here as well. And then going up, I just have a regular, um, you know, black uh, long sleeve T-shirt. But on top, I have uh, a tactical distributor's. Uh, I think it's like the shooter shirt or something like that. What's cool is it actually it's a piece of Velcro. I, have, I don't have anything on there, but uh, it's, it's nice because it's nice and comfortable. It's great for the range. You can you know represent you know whatever organization you want to on there, whether it's a team or a unit or something like that. And obviously, I have a little ball clava here. Nice to have. It kind of uh, instills a little more of that, um, I guess you'd say that uh, post-apocalyptic kind of look. And then I have mechanics gloves as well. Mechanics gloves are really well, uh, really good, really nice to use, really uh, affordable too. And uh, you can just beat these up. And you know, eventually one day when these uh, completely start falling apart, you can get them uh, for a really affordable price. And they make them uh, in a bunch of different colors. They're gonna be coming out with multicam soon, so keep an eye out on that. Uh, but definitely nice, nice and affordable, really comfortable. Uh, I, li I like the, uh, the thickness of the gloves, because you have dexterity, and you can, you can really feel what you're gonna do, especially if you're searching someone, or just handling the weapon system. You know, when it gets cold though too, sometimes you have some real thick gloves, it's hard to man manipulate everything on here. Uh, but that more or less covers the the whole kit. Oh, and uh, the Vulcan uh, Zulu goggles as well. Uh, one thing, these things do not fog, so definitely one of my favorite things about the kit. But overall, as you can see, it's a pretty much more or less light kit, and I just have a general purpose uh, pouch right here that kind of holds all my uh, money, I guess you'd say. We're using bottle caps for money here at Revelations, but as you can see, more or less kind of a, almost a rebelish looking kind of kit, but uh, definitely some really awesome kits out there, whether they're made out of Russian gear or the stuff people made at home. So make sure you guys check out the video for Revelations when it comes out, but uh, thank you guys for watching. I'm James C. Burns, I play Sergeant Frank Woods in Call of Duty Black Ops 1 and 2. It's time for you to subscribe to Spartan 117GW, baby. Elite Force BBs, that's what's in my mag. Thanks for watching.